weeks ago, my community group and I went on a retreat by the lake. I was sitting on the shore skipping rocks with my friend as we began talking about life. The shore is a safe and fun place where you get to build sandcastles and if you go a little bit deeper, learn how to swim. But the deep is where trust, faith and wisdom are tested. It's also where you get to do some more exciting things and maybe see some rare and beautiful creatures. The deep waters require you to be wise and prepared with life jackets, floaters, and maybe even a first aid kit. I hope you've kind of realized that this is all a metaphor for something. God has been calling me deeper into the waters. Sometimes he holds our hands and gently pulls us in. Other times he says you're going to go on a speedboat. Are there more risks, dangers, uncertainties? Of course. All these tests are necessary for human and spiritual growth. In real life to go deeper with God, a process of pruning must occur. Some habits must be abandoned. Even some friends, if they're not right for where you're going, they might cause you more harm than good. Because our focus on faith, the word, alignment and purpose is required, it's important to count the cost and be prepared by God. So here are 8 things God is teaching me as he calls me deeper. Number 1. Trust God and not people. Learn to depend on him primarily and not the people around you. Not even authority figures like pastors. If God chooses, he can speak to you through others, but overall we must build an intimate relationship with him in order to know his will. We are not to depend on ourselves nor others, but to truly know his voice. Does this mean we shouldn't accept advice from people wiser than us? Of course not, it just means we should seek God first. Number 2. Seek spiritual discernment. This is everything. Not everything that is good is right for you. Also, the enemy comes like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Something appears right, but it actually is meant to destroy, distract, and throw you off course. Number 3. Develop Boundaries In the Old Testament, Nehemiah faced his greatest opposition when he was building the walls to the temple of God. When you build walls, people will try to confuse you, distract you, maybe guilt trip you, or even unconsciously distract you. But if you know the assignment God has given you, then you need to build those walls. Number 4. Be cautious of what you commit to. It's sometimes easier to get into something than to get out. Even if it's a job, ask God, is this really where you need to be right now? Because doing the right thing at the wrong time can cost you. Number 5. Know God and His love. Understanding God is key and love is the greatest commandment. But it's also important to know what godly love looks like. It's easy to think we're loving someone but we're actually swaying. So it's important to understand what love looks like and love those around us and even love ourselves and most importantly to love God. Number six, go deeper in everything. Why do you believe what you believe? What kind of life do you want to live? What should you be doing or focusing on right now? Test everything with the word of God. Don't just know scriptures but understand them. Understand who you are. Number 7. Be prepared to defend your position. You will be tested by people who are not meant for you and even some people that you're close to. Do you know and believe what God is telling you? You may have to prove it somehow. You don't have to explain things to people, but don't doubt and don't waver. And finally, number 8. Know that you are not alone. It sometimes feels like we're the only, one who are, only ones who are facing what we're facing, but there's comfort in knowing someone else has been where you are. And that person has overcome these things through Christ. So also know that God is fighting your battle with you. You are protected, you are loved, and you will be alright.